ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿರಾಧಿಕರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಚಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವುನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಗ್ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತು ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಜಯೋ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಧುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನುತ್ಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾಧಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿ ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಪವಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗ್ರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಂಕೃಪಾಂಕರೋಸ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವೈಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಮತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ವಿಪದೋ ನೈವ ವಿಪದೋ ಸಂಪದೋ ನೈವ ಸಂಪದೋ ವಿಪದಹೋ ವಿಸ್ಫರಣ ವಿಷ್ಣು 
Sampado Narayana Sridhi Vipado Naiva Vipado Sampado Naiva Sampado Vipado Visvaranam Vishnu Sampado Narayana Sridhi Gauriya Gostipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Bhopal Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that the whole world gradually go going away from that absolute truth. Gauriya Goshtipati, Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Bhopal Paramahansa Jagat Guru told the whole world Actually, they are gradually going away and away and away from that absolute truth. Gradually, they are going away from that absolute truth. They are going away so much that they are going away from the absolute truth by so much that if I speak about that absolute truth in front of them, they become afraid. Why this kind of thing is speaking? They are going away from their absolute truth so much that if one sadhu, one pure sadhu going to speak about their absolute truth in front of them, they become afraid. Why you are speaking this way? People think that different kind of material problem we are facing, we can solve all this problem, we can ensure our very smooth life leading, we can lead our very nice life. But after solving one problem, another problem coming, Another problem you are going to solve, then another problem falling. This way, countless problems coming to put him in trouble. Still you cannot understand. Still you cannot understand that life is unstable. Still you cannot understand. If somebody say, what do you, what do you mean by material sansar? If somebody is asking me, what do you mean by material sansar? I can say, countless problem all over this universe. Countless problem all over this universe. You can collect and put in one place, like Himalayan hill. That is called sansar. If somebody is asking me, what do you mean by sansar, material sansar? I can say, okay, countless problems all over this universe. You can collect and put in one place, like Himalaya. And this is called sansar. But still you like this sansar. That is a miracle. Still, still nobody can say, by touching Salagram, by touching Bhagavad, by touching Nishinga, they cannot say, that I don't like sansar. They cannot say. They have no power. Weakness there. Many times Popad used to say, people living that side of the river, they are very happy. Some, some people, sometimes thinking, those people living that side of the river, they are very happy. And those people, they are living that side of the river, they think they are very happy. But nobody happy. <laughs> Happiness is not there. Happiness is not at all there. <laughs> it is actually shadow. It is actually one kind of shadow. Actual happiness is not there. One example there, very nice. One day, one queen, queen, you know, in a palace. Queen, they have a very uh, a special arrangement for taking bath. So, 
if you go through this palace, they have one secret place where only king can open the door and go to the river. King and queen, both then. Nobody can. Queen cannot go openly to the river. It is, it is not good. They have some speciality, you know. So, in Agra also, in Agra, you know, Delhi, Agra, there also one Muslim king, I don't like to name, to contaminate my tongue. He wanted to make one big palace. Very nice. Anyway, there also arrangement, you can go through underground and ultimately reach to Jamuna, Jamuna Nadi to take bath. So what I mean to say, that queen going to, you know, take all ornament, everything in one place, very costly necklace, diamond, everything, wonderful, and again, then going to take bath. But in the meantime, one crow, wicked crow, going to collect that, you know, that costly necklace, which is very costly, with diamond, everything, collect and run. The queen shouting, King also become upset. What happens? Then he is sending all you know mess messenger go run, follow that crow. <coughs> A crow running, and ultimately crow after long flying, going to sit in uh, branches of the tree, and somehow that necklace was stuck up with a branch and uh, it is hanging and the crow. Crow find it is not uh, useless. It is it is useless for me because I cannot eat it. A uh, crow gone. Crow gone. And all people, messenger of theirs, you know, king, they are running behind the necklace. Finally, some of them discover the necklace is there inside the pond. King speaking, I can give big donation if somebody. Discover this, you know, this necklace. So all learning and somebody, some of them discover inside that pond, watching. When they are jumping in the forest, they vanish. Again, the pond become calm and quiet again, fine. Everybody upset. Finally, one sadhu going to that place and they are asking what problem? This is the problem. Necklace is there. Necklace is there, but nobody can catch. Then the sadhu saying, you are an idiot. Look up. It is there. Necklace is there. Really? It is there and the shadow there. In Bhagavatam, I am not speaking any story. In Bhagavatam also it is written. In Bhagavatam, Veda Stuti. There are also one nice sloka regarding all shadow. And also, in desert, in the desert, you know, you will have to go long distance. You can get some oasis. Oasis, you know, oasis? You don't know? In between the desert, somewhere some uh, and, uh, trees and they are growing very nice. Oasis. So the man need to and a man need to long run wrong. Some foolish man, he don't know. He is newly coming in the desert. He has no idea about this kind of magic spell. He is feeling very trusty. He is very, very, very trusty. What to do? There is all desert. Arabian country there, Babylon all. You can go maybe 40 50 kilometers. After that, you can meet with some baby and uh, with some oasis, and some tree, something. Is that it? It's very thirsty. Noon time, scorchy sunlight. He's watching, there is water. Water. It is not actually water. He's running towards that water source. He's running towards that water source. But again, find the water source is a little bit far. 
again running there. Finally, he running, 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 becomes so thirsty, he fall down on the ground and going to die. Because it is not actually water. It seems there is water source. It seems there is water source, actually not water. It is sunlight and air, adjacent water, uh, adjacent air. Adjacent what means? Adjacent to the sand. Become very hot, going up and cold water coming down. This way there is one, one, one kind of wave. And from long distance if you watch, really there is water, there is water. This way, those who are leading their family life, I mean those who are enjoying in this material world, their enjoyment is like that. I know such a man who is almost 90 years. His body is fit. Still he is karma. 90 years, come on. 90 years, but still has karma. You can say old man cannot have karma. Absurd. Wrong conception. It never depends upon young age or old age. Shukdev Goswami in 16 years age, no karma. Free of karma. Shiringa Rishi, free of karma. But that man, old man, 90 years has karma. So it never depends upon the age factor. It never depends upon age factor. It depends upon your sanskar, bhava. It depends upon your previous sanskar. You are driven by sanskar, so who can check you? This way, this is the usual nature. This is the usual, usual nature of whole people. They like to get enjoyment. They never like to get detachment. They never like to develop detachment. Or at all going to detachment by some, some, somehow. But that detachment is not useful for Hari Bhajan. That detachment is not at all useful for Bhajan. Because that detachment and your enjoying mood, all useless. No use. It is not useful for Hari Bhajan. We think in heavenly planet, Indra Maharaj, <coughs> in heavenly planet, Indra Maharaj is very happy. We think so, na? Indra, Ma Indra Maharaj is the king of heaven. <coughs> So surely he is happy. He is a king, enjoying everything. But you have no information. Indra Maharaj is in great trouble. Sometime demon, they are, they are running to attack heaven. Indra Maharaj fighting, become defeated. Then Indra Maharaj leaving his wife and going away. Even he has no power to protect his own wife. Wife is there. Husband gone. No. So powerful demon. They are going to attack. Then Indra Maharaj defeated. Gone away from the heavenly planet. Running like beggar here and there. You have no information. I can show you from Shastra. I can show you from Shastra what all different kind of problem Indra Maharaj is going to face. One example I can give you, one or two examples. I think it is sufficient. Indra Maharaj have done some mistake because they have false ego. False ego, they have. He has committed aparad unto the lotus feet of Gurudev, Brahaspati. And after that, he was in great trouble. Because if you if you if you going to insult Sadguru, then all your appearances, all your knowledge, all your uh, uh, I mean, uh, 
result of auspicious activities, everything done, all can go vanish. Ayu Shriyo Yasu Dharma Lokana Sishu Evacha Hunting Sangh Sarvani Mahadati Krama. If you want to insult some Guru Vaishnava and Brahman, then you can finish everything. So, Brihaspati Gurudev is going to insult. Mane, insult means is not going to give honor to Gurudev. Gurudev coming so this way, all his power, everything gone. Finally, he took decision to arrange Jagya because Brihaspati Brihaspati vanish. Vanish means they have their power to say to stay secretly. You don't know. I many times I told they have yogic power. If one Rishi here, I cannot see. If he at all he is standing, I can we cannot do because they vanish. Invisible. So Brahaspati gone in invisible state. It is possible by yogic power. Onima, Mohima, Logima. I can become so small that I can enter into metal. I can met enter into a stone. I can become so light that I can fly. It's possible. Follow. I can hear from long distance what you are speaking. This kind of yogic power one can have. So, Brahaspati gone, invisible. Brahaspati is there, but invisible. Nobody can find. Big problem. If Gurudev is not there, who can guide us? Good and bad situation we are facing, different kind of inauspicious moment coming, Gurudev going to arrange some ritualistic activities, but no. Where is Gurudev gone? Ah, I have done mistake, oh my God. I have done mistake. Oh, Gurudev, but Gurudev vanish. Invisible. Then all demigods, they took decision to accept one Guru. For the time being, at least, because Gurudev is angry, gone somewhere. But the, for the time being, we need something for Jagya, this, that, who can do? So they want to accept Bisharup. He is a Brahmin and very powerful. By the help of his bhajan power, very, very powerful one, Vishwaru. They are going to request. And Vishwaru, his father is actually Trashta and mother is Demo. Follow? Sometimes it happens, na? Father is from, you know, Muslim race. And mother is from this. Is it happen? It usually happen. It can happen so. So his uh, mother is Jamon and father is. So for maternal uncle, so usually he has love for maternal uncle. Na? Uncle, na? for maternal uncle, they have attraction. So when Vishwarup is going to arrange Jagya on behalf of Indra, Indra, all heavenly flame, are doing Jagya. But Indra could not realize that Vishwarup is going to offer Jagya share. Vishwarup could not understand. Indra could not understand that he is secretly going to offer Jagya share to maternal uncle. He could not understand. He is doing Om Swaha, Om Swaha, and very secretly Swaha. Very secretly, to maternal, so that Indra cannot realize. Suddenly Indra realized, could see that he is going to offer a Jagya Seya to maternal uncle. I mean demons. He became immediately so angry, so angry. He opened the sword and cut the throat of Going to cut the throat. But Vishwaru is Brahman. He is acting as Guru. So, both ways you are in problem. First Brahman, 
Second, he is acting as guru. So you are going to kill your guru. You are going to kill your, you know, Brahman. Big problem. Then Brahma sharp, you know, cards. Brahma sharp, you know. If you kill one Brahma, then one kind of a sinful activity is coming to touch you, contaminate you. Indra Maharaj, what to do? Being a big problem. In the marriage is a big problem, what to do? This way, not one time. Not one time. Somehow, he wanted to solve this problem. Somehow, they arranged Vishwajit Jagya, big Rishimani. He wanted to make, wanted to make Indra Maharaj free of these sinful activities. I mean, Brahma Sāp, Brahma Pāp, Brahma Hatta Pāp, sinful activities. In this context, I like to remind you, in Akadashi, we are taking fruits and flowers. Why you know? I can come to the point. There is reason, Akadashi, why we are not going to grain, grain, nothing. Only fruits and flowers, some, somehow. I can come to the point. First of all, there was some Indra wanted to share. First, second, second, second time when he is going to make opera, again going to kill Brahman, then he is going to uh, take a shelter of Lakshmi and finally Vishwaji Jogu. But first I, I, first of all, when going to meet, uh, going to kill Vishwaru, then big problem. So, Indra wanted to share, Indra wanted to share these sinful activities among women, water, plants, well, this way I wanted to share. So, trees, they are going to take the share of that and they are going to take. So, in Akadoshi day, the same day, as uh, this kind of sinful activity is going to take a big power, money. They are taking power. Matajis, they are taking this kind of sinful activity in the, in the name of priyod. This way. Water going to take in the form of bubbles. This way, somehow he could get free and then <coughs> He wanted to arrange Jagya, I and mean, he wanted to. So in that end, he wanted to do Jagya after. I mean, Rishi Muni, they wanted to do Jagya the second time. First time, he killed. Second time, when father of Vishwaru, Trashta. Father of Vishwaru was very angry. He wanted to take revenge. He wanted to take revenge against Indra. Because he killed my son. So he wanted to take revenge. When he wanted to take revenge, he wanted to arrange one big Jagya. In Jagya, he went to, wanted to offer ghee and everything, share. So that from Jagya, one powerful Demon can come out and take revenge against Indra because again, anyway Indra is powerful. So Trasta thinking I cannot take revenge is not possible for me. So they did, to, took decision to do, do Jagya, and from that Jagya, those who are Brahman, they are supposed to do positive Jagya. So that. One powerful demon can, man can come out, powerful figure can come out and kill Indra. But that's just opposite happen. Due to the wrong pronunciation of Sanskrit sloka, due to the wrong pronunciation of Sanskrit sloka, just opposite happen. One powerful figure was supposed to come out of the fire to kill Indra. But just opposite happened. Indra can kill him. 
He was supposed to speak. Eh? Indra Shatru Vivardhasa. Demon and enemy of Indra should grow and come out. But due to gapping in pronunciation, the meaning becomes just opposite. Due to wrong pronunciation, the effect of the mantra is just opposite. What is mantra? Indro, Shatro, Vivardasa, gapping. Indro, the enemy, Indro, the enemy, get enormous power. Indra, the enemy, get enormous power. But they wanted to make one figure who can kill Indra. Indra Shatru, the enemy of Indra, should come out and kill Indra. Due to pronunciation gapping, that's a big problem. You cannot realize Sanskrit is so Sanskrit, Sanskrit is so scientific language, slight mistake in pronunciation, the meaning change, totally meaning can change. One example, one example I can give you is very practical for you. One very rich man, very, very powerful rich man, and in the gate there is there is gate man. In the gate, there is gate man. They are going to check up who is, who is going and who is coming. Always checking up. Always checking up. But somehow, we don't know, due to the lapse, due to the lapse in duty, some, some thief, due to the, it is a lapse of duty, some thief entered the building and going to take one very costly thing and running away. In the meantime, that fat, rich man is very fat. He is watching from up. Hey! The thief going! You catch! He, he, was supposed to, he, was suppo he was supposed to say that the thief going, you catch him. He was supposed to speak, the thief going, you catch him. But due to his stammering, tongue stammering, you know, stammering, ha! Eh? You don't know stammering. To, 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 to. It's called stammering. <laughs> Due to stammering, the pronunciation is just wrong. He wanted to show, don't, you know, don't allow him to go, you catch. But due to wrong pronunciation, I mean stammering, the meaning is just opposite. Don't stop him, allow him to go. Due to stammering, you know, some gapping. Like in Hindi, Ruko mat jane do. Ruko mat jane do. Stop him. Don't allow him to go. And if you say, Ruko mat jane do, the stammering, the meaning just opposite. Mane, you don't stop him, allow him to go. The man go. This is the exact example. So, due to wrong pronunciation, there is big problem. One powerful figure was supposed to come out of the fire, Jagya fire, but just opposite happened. One figure came out whom Indra can kill. Just opposite. Now, big fighting going on. I am speaking about the problem of Indra. Big fighting going on. Finally, what happens? Finally, what happens, you know? Indra was in problem. Indra cannot kill that man. Then going to, by the, by the advice of Brahma, is going to approach one, one Rishi. Going to approach one Rishi. Who is so powerful, who is so powerful you cannot imagine, by his bhajan power. So, Brahma speaking, you can go, Bhagavan speaking, not Brahma, Bhagavan speaking, you can go and you can uh, take the body of that Rishi and you can make missile out of his bone. 
you can take the bone of that rishi and make missile, and that missile can kill Vittasu. And that demon was Vittasu, who was in previous life Chittaketu Raja. That's him. How and when is by the cars of Parvati Devi, the long history, I don't like to say. So this way, Vrittasur was ultimately killed by Indra, by the help of that, you know, missile from the bone of that Rishi. Now, come on, he is also Brahman, because he, is the, he can be treated as the son of uh, Trashta. Though he is coming out, though he is coming out from fire, because you know, the case of Draupadi, Draupadi coming out from fire. But still Draupadi is the is a daughter of Drupad Raja. So it, is, it was the usual system. By the desire of Drupad Raja, one twine and one girl and one boy came out. The girl is actually Drupadi, Draupadi. So Draupadi actually came out from fire. Similarly, Vrittasur is a son of son of whom? Trasta, because he arranged Jagya. So again the Brahman, Indra going to kill Brahman. First share, first share of you know Brahmahatta sinful activity was distributed. Second, where to go? Then Indra Mahara running and running and running and going, reaching, going to reach Manas Saravar, you know, in Himalaya. In Himalayan hill, there is a Manas Saravar. You heard the name of Manas Saravar, never. Manas Saravar, Manas Saravar. There in the lotus flower, Lakshmi Devi is staying. In lotus flower, Lakshmi Devi is staying. So he wanted to take shelter unto a lotus field of Lakshmi Devi. He's keeping shelter. But there is water. If somebody doing jagya is going indraya swaha, then the oblation, I mean ghee, I mean food, fire cannot reach up to man, man sarva, manas sarva, because it is water, na? Actually, fire always going to carry the share of any demigods. In the name of any demigods, in the name of any demigods, you are going to offer something that Fire can carry and give their share to them. But fire cannot reach. So Indra is fasting for a long time. Finally, Munidhisis, they took decision to arrange one big Jagya. Jagya mean? That is called Vishwaji Jagya. After that, what I mean to say, not one time. Repeatedly, Indra become in trouble. So Indra is not happy. That's why, in Bhagavad glorification, it is written, Nacha Indrasya Sukham Kinchinna Sukham Chakravartinaha Sukham Asti Viraktasya Munir Ekanta Jivana. You think Indra is happy, but Indra is not happy. Nacha Indrasya Sukham, you think that that king is very happy, he is dominating the whole world. He is the king of the whole world. Like Prithu Maharaj, Ambaris Maharaj, they are dominating the whole world. Shapto Deep Adhipati. Seven eyes run over the world. They used to control. So power. They have, they have chariot. They can fly. You need, uh, you need plane. But they have already chariot. They can look here and there within fraction of a second. You need time. 30 hours, 40 hours. But they need, they need only fraction of a second. They can go. So, it is written in Shastra, Indra Maharaj is surely not happy. We think he is happy. And all big, big kings, we think they are happy. They are also not happy. Happiness is there only with one pure sadhu. I am not speaking in Grihastha or uh, Tagi. Sadhu can be in Grihastha form also. So, those who are real sadhu, Actual sadhu, they are actually happy. Shukham asti virakta samunir ekanta jivena. Those who are going to concentrate on the lotus feet of Bhagavan fully, they are only happy. 
All other, nobody you can point out. Nobody, single man. Single man is happy. Or at all happy for the time being. Like Indra. Next time, there can be some problem. So nobody happy, big problem is there. So I was speaking yesterday about the case of Atma, Atmodev. Atmodev I was speaking, na? Atmodev, the father of Gokarna. Atmodev now in big problem because the younger son is a dacoits. It's a beating, killing, all property gone, he become big. All property gone, everything. Finally, I told some pros, they took decision to kill him and to take away all ornaments and money deposited by him anyway. So he was killed and he was, and there was one cavity they put inside, dead, dead body they put inside, and up they gave mud. After that they put some trees and small trees, so that nobody can doubt that there can be some dead body. They can think it's garden, no problem. But the spirit, but the spirit of that Dundukari is now ghost. Then who can deliver that ghost? That is the main problem. So Gokarnuji Maharaj started speaking Bhagavad Katha, third session of Bhagavatam. And Atmodevji was in great problem. So, Atmodev, no, actually Bhagavad Katha was uh, spoken after. Uh, before actually, Atmodev uh, want to find solution. What is the solution? My, my life is now in danger. I lose everything, all my consciousness, everything, all property, money, everything gone. Then Kokarniji Maharaj is Mahabhagavat. I already told that there, who is Bhagavat, he can understand Bhagavat. So Gokarnaji Maharaj going to advise to father. Gokarnaji Maharaj going to advise to Atmade father that you try to you try to go out of this problem. How? But your affinity, your affinity is there in home, your affinity there in children. You should withdraw your affinity. That is the main problem that you are growing attachment because you have affinity. If you have affinity with somebody or something, in my life I know so many examples I can give. When I, my age was not big, my, my young age, that time I used to give some tuition, tuition, you know, tuition, you know, I have to help students. There was a very big palace in our locality, big palace, they used to respect me. I said, this is a nice place, I used to. There was one, there was one family, I mean, they are the owner. And owner, they have one daughter and one son. Daughter and one son, they respect me also very much. I give teaching and go away, I have no problem. Finally, I discover, I, I find, that the girl have some loveful relation with some man, with some boy. And there was some problem in between. Illegal thing. There was some problem. Due to that, that the girl wanted to commit suicide by setting fire in his clothes. By setting fire in his clothes. Galvan, I was informed. All you know, people, they are going to see what is the condition. I went to hospital, I see the girl is very beautiful looking, totally like golden complexion. But I find like ass, you know, black ass, you know, charcoal, charcoal, you know, black coal, lying. She is anyway going to die, nobody can say. In the meantime, that the boy also, that Atma, when, when she is going to die, that Atma going to, going to, that Atma going to call that boy. She is going to die. But has some, 
magnetic attraction like that boy. Then the boy also commits suicide. Oh my God. He was also very tall figure, very nice. This way, what I mean to say, there is some attraction. He was not supposed to die. Why? Because there is attraction. Affinity. Due to the affinity, he cannot be going to commit suicide. This way, each and every man here in the material world, if they have any kind of affinity, they are going to lose all bhajan. What to speak about bhajan? If they have affinity, they cannot come out successful. They will have to stay in this material world. They will have to stay in this material world. Anyway, they will, first of all, they will have to come out of this affinity. So, Gokarnaji Maharaj is going to advise to Father that you try to serve Sadhu Guru Vaishnava and try to go through Bhagavatam, you can get facility. And first of all, what I mean to say, Gokarnaji Maharaj speaking, Dharmam bhajasya satatam tejo loko dharman Dharmam bhajasya satatam tejo loko dharman Tejo loko dharman So long you are busy with general dharma Gokarnaji Maharaj Singh So long you are busy only with general dharma Your mind, mental dharma, body dharma or so-called uh, general dharma, which cannot give you 100% facility. All dharma. I yesterday I told you, all dharma, general general dharma. Social dharma, family dharma, shankshar dharma, all dharma. Mano dharma, body dharma, all dharma. But you are not going to follow the absolute dharma. So, Gokarnaji Maharaj speaking, Dharmam bhajasya satatam. Dharmam bhajasya satatam continuously, continuously you try to do bhajan or Bhagavad Dharma. Try to take shelter of Bhagavad Dharma and leave all general Dharma. You discard, try to discard. You try to leave, I mean, you try to leave all general Dharma. It is of, it is of, it is of no use. It is of your no use, useless. So, dharmam bhajasya satatam tejo loko dharmam shevasya sadhu purushan jahi kamatishna. Shevasya sadhu purushan, those who are sadhu guru vishnam, you can serve them and as a result, you can go out of any attachment, free. That is the only way. That is the only way, by the help of few, by the that is the only way by the help of which you can cut your affinity of your life. By serving pure Guru Vishnu, there is no other alternative way. Now, I, I started with one sloka you can remember. People think that there is so many danger. Indra think there is so many danger. But Indra cannot realize that Hari Bhajan is the solution. Kunti Devi, though Indra Maharaj is the king of heaven, though Indra Maharaj is the king of heaven, but Indra Maharaj cannot realize. Whereas Kunti Devi, Kunti, Kunti Devi, you heard the name of Kunti Devi, and the mother of Pancha Pandav, she can realize. When Krishna going away to Dharaka after solving all problem, after solving all problem, he want to, Krishna want to go away to Dharaka. But, Drop, but Kunti Devi going to pray to Krishna. Kunti Devi going to pray to Krishna. I already wrote one book on this by the desire of one world, one world devotee, old, old devotee, my old Maharaj. He, he, he requested me to write the explanation of the mood of Kunti. So I wrote one book in Bengali, long ago. The glorification of Kunti Devi. 
glorification of Kunti Devi. There is all there. Anyway, so Kunti Devi requesting Krishna. You stay here more. We are in danger. Why? Why? Krishna speaking now. <coughs> Krishna speaking now. All problem is over. What problem? You are enjoying the. Now you are enjoying the overall sober unity all over the world. Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking. All problem over. Jara Sandag, Jara Sandag die. Kongso die. Everybody die. Who is there? Shishupal, Pashupal. Danta Bharga, Banta Bharga, all your enemies, all gone. So what problem? Now you can lead your peaceful life. What problem? So let me go. You are enjoying overall, you are enjoying overall sovereignty all over the world. And nobody is going to attack you. But Kunti Devi speaking, now the actual problem is starting. Kunti Devi speaking, now it is not the solution. Now, actual problem now now going to start. What do you mean? Krishna knowing everything. Krishna asking, what do you mean? What do you mean, Krishna? What do you mean? I mean that now actual problem going to start. Actual problem? Well, we can forget you. Now all favorable condition, money, position, everything, all no problem. I can enjoy my life. I can forget you. When there is danger, then we can remember, oh God, you, you saved me. But when problem is over, then we can again lead, enjoy, you're going to enjoy our life. I can show you so many, so many such instances. He was in problem. Come on. He promised me brain cancer. Brain cancer. At that time, I was in Vrindavan doing a worship of Dauji Maharaj. He paid me. You please, you know, save me. No, I have no power to save you. Anyway, I can speak to my Gurudev. And Gurudev told Gurudev, this is a condition. I said, this one. My Gurudev said, oh, really? He's going to die. Brain cancer. He promised me. I, <coughs> I tell him, I can take the responsibility, provided you commit, provided you promise me that after you come, Back from Velour, 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 you know. His operation was due in Velour, South India, Madras, Velour. If you come back, you will have to do Harivajan. He promised, no? He said, yes, I promise. He promised me, I can do Harivajan if I come back. A miracle. By the miracle of Dauji Maharaj, I give the Tulsi under the lotus feet of Dauji Maharaj. In his name, he was okay. But after coming back, he's not doing Hari Bhajan. You see, not doing Hari Bhajan. Still today, still today, any problem happen, going to inform me. But not doing Hari Bhajan. This is the condition. And that time when he was uh, going to die, because death is inevitable, doctors say there is no, there is a, uh, only 5% five percent, five percent chance. He can die or can live. But 95% you can see is uh, going to die. Then he says, Oh God, oh God, save me. Oh God, save me. After problem is over, they forget. So all different kind of problem coming in our life, we should ac accept in the positive way. It's good for us. You can remember when that, you know, that man attacked Gosala. That time, continuously I am speaking Harikatha. He is attacking. Big problem there. I never think. I was not thinking about it, speaking Harikatha. <laughs> I never pray Bhagavan. I went to Bhakti Mir Tagore. What is the problem? You see, it is your. If you give me permission, I can go away leaving all this thing. And problem over. <laughs> so, Different kind of problem coming in our life, we think this is actually a problem. But the main problem is that we forget Bhagavan. Kunti Devi speaking, now positive see, positive environment. Kunti Devi is now positive environment. Kunti Devi speaking. Now nobody can attack us. We can lead our smooth, smooth life. Actually, this is problem. Now all environment is positive. 
I can forget you. Vipado, I already saw with this sloka. Vipado, noiba vipado. Shampado, noiba sampado. When I am getting all property, all different kind of facility, you know, this is not actually, this is not actually, this is not actually my favorable condition. It is a negative condition. Vipado, noiba vipado. What do you think? Danger, it is not danger. Danger is that when you are enjoying your life, then it is danger because you are going to forget Bhagavan. Anyway, to remember Bhagavan, there is one vidhi and nishad. Vidhi, you know, rules, one vidhi, one restriction, one vidhi. There is one vidhi. There is one vidhi. There is one vidhi. Restriction, you will have to do, order. And there is one vidhi, restriction, order. And nishad means prohibited, you cannot do it. So all shastra, all our everything, going to move around one single point. All, all our... All our vidhi and nishad, vidhi, I mean this you have to do, you should not do it. It is depending upon one single point, that is to remember Bhagavan. All vidhi nishad, rules and regulation, everything moving around, depending upon one single point, that is Never forget Bhagavan, always try to remember Bhagavan. Oh, fasting, Rusano, Jagya, Harikatha, whatever, Kirtan, all. Only single point for why we are doing. Satatam smartabhya Vishnu, bismartabhyam no jatu uchit. To forget Bhagavan is prohibited. And to remember Bhagavan is the only and single rule. So depending upon this single point, all different rules and regulations, you can go to Parikram, you can do this, you can do Jagya, you can come to Harikatha, you can take Prasadam, all single point. Even when you are sleeping, Shayane, Paddana, Vancha, Vibhaicha, Pajapatim, when you are going to sleeping, Paddana, Bhagavan, Ki, Jai. It is written. When you are going to take medicine, Aushade Chintat Vishnu. When you are going to take medicine, na, you have to think about Vishnu. Aushade Chintat Vishnu. Bhajane, when you are taking prasad, Aushade Chintat Vishnu. Bhajane Cha Janardhanam. When you are taking prasad, Janardhan. It is written. I mean Bhagavan. And Gaman, when you are walking, going to some place, you can have Bamandev, Maharaj, Bhagavan. But all, all you are sleeping, all you are sleeping, Paddhanava. You go to forest, you feel, there also you will have to remember. In water, in fire, all you have to remember. I mean all the time. So today, afternoon time, I can discuss why Parikama is the best possible way. This I can discover. But to, now I will have to start, actually, the last I am, I am making background, I mean, introductory things. Now we will have to remember that our Uddhavji Maharaj is feeling helpless. Our Uddhavji Maharaj now feeling helpless because anyway Krishna is going away from this material world. Then we can start. Why, why Uddhavji Maharaj crying? Because Uddhavji Maharaj, even fraction of second, cannot live with, without Krishna. Without Krishna, Uddhavji Maharaj cannot live even fraction of second. So Uddhavji Maharaj praying to Bhagavan Sri Krishna Prabhu, you are going away from this material world, so you also take me. Because Without you, it is impossible for me to stay. I already discussed maybe four or five days ago. But Krishna speaking, you deserve 
that you are my servant, sevak. It is your duty to carry out my order. Because I have some plan and program. I am going away. The moment, the moment I am going to leave this material world, Krishna speaking, the moment I am going to leave this earth, within that fraction of second, Kali can come and overpower the whole situation. Koli already came. Koli already can. Koli is now out station. Like sometime, you know, station going to enter the station, but due to some problem outside station. You know, now sometime it happened. Train supposed to enter into the platform, but not platform. Due to some reason, a train waiting to get signal then. So Kali is already rich. Kali already rich, but is waiting for the moment for the moment when Krishna can go away from this material world. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, this is the situation. So when I am going to leave this material world, immediately Koli can come, enter and overpower and contaminate all your heart. All people. All it is a must. Koli is so powerful. Even those who are so-called sadhu, Bhakti Balatitu used to say very often. Bhakti Balatitu very often used to say. Those who are so-called sadhu, I mean sadhu, okay, doing bhajan. Not that they are bad, but not siddha. For those who are doing, maybe they are 70% successful, 80% successful. Maybe they are doing bhajan. Koli can come and start disturbance. Koli can come. They can, Koli can come and make problem among them. Those who are siddha, for them, no problem. Those who are Siddha, no, Koli cannot do anything. But those who are not yet Siddha, they can feel some attraction for man or woman. Somebody can feel attraction for money, position. It's a must. Politics can start. I can dash my godbrother and make uh, this position. Automatically, it is the arrangement of Koli. Bhakti Vala used to say very often, each and everywhere, among in the society of sadhu, their Koli can enter, Koli can enter and make problem. Nobody can stop. Big problem. So Koli can make problem, you have no power to stop. So this way, big problem. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking, so I, so I plan. So I plan to keep you as my representative. So I like to keep you as my representative in the material world. Why? So that they can get, they can, people, all common people, who are very innocent, they can get the chance, scope, to get this Bhagavad Dharma, what I am, what I wanted to say. Uddhavji Maharaj was helpless. So how I can preach? I am foolish, I have no knowledge, I have no manpower, money power, nothing. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, well, you need not do anything. Only your presence, only and only your presence is good for the whole world. Like Mahaprabhu told about Haridas Thakurna, like, like Mahaprabhu told for Haridas Thakur, Haridas was a precious jewel of this earth. Mahaprabhu told, na? Haridas was the precious jewel of this earth. Without the jewel, Pithivi earth. Haridas was the precious jewel of this earth. Now Haridas is gone. Prithivi ma, mother earth, now helpless. Haridas bina, shunno, shunno mana vacant. Hoilo medini. Medini mean? Art, Mahapu speaking. So when one one Guru Vaishnava going away from this material world, then Pithivi Ma, Pithivi Ma, his name is Kamakha Devi, Kamakha you know, in Assam there is Kamakha, he is Prithivi Devi. She is crying. When one one Guru Vaishnava going away from this material world, 
then Prithivi Ma, Mother Prithivi, feel, she is feeling helpless. So, to check the situation, Bhagavan took decision to keep Uddhavji Maharaj in the middle. How I can do? You need not do it. Only your presence, Uddhav, only your presence is more than sufficient. One Vaishnava, so long as they are on this earth, Mangal can propagate Mangal. You cannot understand. We saw Guru Maharaj in bed. We saw Guru Maharaj in bed, lying. You know, Guru Maharaj in bed, lying. Speaking nothing. But his presence can regulate everything. So influence. So, Bhagavan Sri was speaking, only your presence is more than sufficient. Anyway, if somebody is going to ask something from you, you can give an answer. Anyway, if somebody is going to ask some question, you can give an answer. You know it. Actually, I have no knowledge. How I can give an answer? Uddha, you think you are foolish. You think you are not educated. You think you are not realized soul. But one thing, one thing is sure, be sure, that even in the heavenly planet, there is no soul, there is, you cannot find one single knowledgeable personality like you. Uddhav, out of your humble attitude, think, I am uh, incapable, I am, you know, I am not, you know, useless I am. But I know it for sure. There is not even a single, single man there, a single, uh, you know, devota, demigods there, who is as much knowledgeable like you. But you think out of your humble attitude, I know nothing, what I can preach. Uh, so, Uddhaji Maharaj is crying. So, Uddhaji Maharaj is praying, well, if you at all going to give me order to preach, uh, then you will have to teach me. Actually, he is already <laughs> learned. Uddhaji Maharaj is the topmost among all, you know. About Uddhav Sangbad, I, I told, na. Eh? Sishya Brihaspatir, he is a disciple of Espati. He is a common. Actually, we cannot compare Brihaspati with Uddha. Try to find. We externally we find that he is a disciple of Vespati. But actually he is not a disciple of Vespati. It is written in Sasa. Okay, it is okay. Like we say that Bhaktivinoda Thakur was a, a student of Vidya Sagar. We say na? Bhaktivinoda Thakur is a student of Vidya Sagar. We say Mahaprabhu is a disciple of Isar Puribhava. Mahaprabhu is, has taken sannyas from, uh, from uh, you know, Kesab Bharati. This we say. When this kind of comment, when this kind of comment, I mean the small boy of Advaita Gosai, Achyutananda, small boy, very small boy. Our Chutana. Naked. They're playing in the ground. Somebody asking to Advaita Gosai, who is the guru of uh, Chaitanya Gosai? Advaita is doing actually, Sarpuripad is the guru. And Kesav Bharati is taking sanya. That the small boy is playing. He was playing with small boys. He running. Father, father, you are the, you know, important personality in the society. You are going to speak wrong way. You speak Chaitanya Gosai is a disciple. Ah, Chaitanya Gosai is Supreme Lord. Who can be his Guru? Krishna Bande Jagat Guru. The Advaita Gosai was stunned. Very happy. Going to take that boy in lap and kissing my father. My father, you are right. There cannot be any Guru of Bhagavan. But still, it is the rules. Bhagavan Krishna going to accept somebody. Ramchandra going to accept somebody as Guru. Mahaprabhu Sikhista Chaitanya going to accept somebody as It is the rules. Because if Bhagavan is not going to do that 
run that way, nobody can accept Guru. Actually, nobody can become Guru of Bhagavan. So this way, when we say, when Krishna, when Krishna Bhagavan speaking, Uddhava and me, non-different. Uddhava, onuopi man, no Uddhava, onuopi manu no. No, Uddhava is no less than me. Even there is no gapping of one atom. Atom, you know, atom you can see, he cannot see. Even there is a no gapping of one atom between Uddhava. And what is Uddhava? What is me? So in that case, how I can say he is a disciple of Vyaspati? Uddhava Ji Maharaj can teach to Vyaspati. Because he has great, he is a great devotee. He is serving Krishna. So this way, Uddhava Ji Maharaj in Bhagavatam is written, is a disciple of Vyaspati. Shishya Vyaspati. It is written. Anyway, so Uddhava Ji Maharaj is going to ask, uh, uh, so when Bhagavan is speaking, I cannot find even one single personality who is as much knowledgeable like you. The in heaven, Vyaspati is there. I am not speaking wrong Siddhanta, na? Because Vyaspati is there in heaven. So where is Krishna speaking? That's it's going to cover, na? About Madhacharya was speaking that day. Achyutapekha was acting as guru, mean preliminary. I mean dress, sannyas and teaching him something. Actually Madhacharya took mantra from, uh, initiation from Vyasadeva. Now the miracle is that Achyutapekha was, fe was feeling disappointed. Because in front of Madhacharya he cannot stand. Madhacharya is so knowledgeable, when Gurudev wants to teach something, Madhacharya is going to show some point. The Gurudev, uh, this is uh, Siddhanta, Achyutapak is feeling this. Finally, Achyutapakho, finally Achyutapakho was bound to confess. Finally, Achyutapakho was bound to confess that, Madha, that Madhacharya is more knowledgeable than me. He was bound to confess. He is more knowledgeable than me. He is bound to confess. So, you see, so, Uddhava Ji Maharaj requesting, so, if you at all like to, if you like, if you at all like to make me a representative, so you, you can make me a fit person, a fit, so that I can become fit for, to carry out your order. That was okay. You can sit, I can speak. Then Bhagavan Sri Krishna started speaking about this. The last advice of Krishna, it is known. It is known as the last advice of Krishna to Uddhavji Maharaj before leaving this material. Before leaving this material world. Because Krishna knowing the moment they can leave, Kali can come and overpower. Kali cannot come simply because Krishna is there. Of course, by the power of Parikit Maharaj, Koli was under control. Koli already came. By that time, he was making so many problems. But anyway, by the power of Parikit Maharaj, he was somehow in control. He was not, he was not in a position to show some excessive attitude. He was there, Koli was there, but under some control. But when Parikit Maharaj gone, Massive, massive power. All why you know, no reason. No reason fighting going on. Fighting going on. All world where Ukraine, Russia, these are doom dham. <laughs> what is the reason? What you can achieve? What you can achieve by firing? By fighting, what you can achieve? Ultimate result. You can lose everything, no? You can lose, but they don't understand. There is the question of false ego. They can fight with it. So, Koli is now going to overpower. So, you should remember the slok. When any problem coming in your life, you should not break down. You should think that it is one positive thing. Because in the way of my Hari Bhajan, this kind of problem is very good. 
Even Prabhupada told, sickness is good, so that I can become humble, I can, I can understand the instability of life. Prabhupada used to say, Vipado naiva vipado, sampado naiva sampado, vipado ho visvaranam visnu, sampado narayana sriti. So I am bound to stop here because time limited. Main problem is time. So try to understand the theme of all speaking. Realize. 